The Dongba, Tomba or Tampa symbols are a system of pictographic glyphs used by the square Dtomba bond priests of the Nashi people in southern China. In the Nashi language it is called squared SS cubed DGYU wood records or squared LV cubed DGYU stone records. They were developed in approximately the 7th century. The glyphs may be used as rebuses for abstract words which do not have glyphs. Dongba is largely a mnemonic system, and cannot by itself represent the Nashi language. Different authors may use the same glyphs with different meanings, and it may be supplemented with the Geba syllabary for clarification. <inaudible> <inaudible> Origin and development The Dongba script appears to be an independent ancient writing system, though presumably it was created in the environment of older scripts. According to Dongba religious fables, the Dongba script was created by the founder of the Bon religious tradition of Tibet, Tanpa Shenrab Tibetan, Stan Pa Ji Shen Rab or Shenrab Miwo Tibetan, Ji Shen Rab Mi Bo. From Chinese historical documents, it is clear that Dongba was used as early as the 7th century, during the early Tang dynasty. By the Song dynasty in the 10th century, Dongba was widely used by the Nashi people. It continues to be used in certain areas, thus, it is the only pictographic language in the world still actively maintained. After the 1949 Communist Revolution in China, the use of Dongba was discouraged. In 1957, the Chinese government implemented a Latin based phonographic writing system for Nashi. During the Cultural Revolution, thousands of manuscripts were destroyed. Paper and cloth writings were boiled into construction paste for building houses. About half of the Dongba manuscripts that survive today had been taken from China to the United States, Germany and Spain. Today Dongba is nearly extinct, and the Chinese government is trying to revive it in an attempt to preserve Nashi culture. Usage The script was originally used as a prompt for the recitation of ritual texts. For inventories, contracts, and letters, the Geba script was used. Milner concludes it is "...unlikely that it the Dongba script would make the minor developmental leap to becoming a full-blown writing system. It arose a number of centuries ago to serve a particular ritual purpose. As its purpose need not expand to the realm of daily use among non-religious specialists, after all, literate Nashi today, as in the past, write in Chinese. At most it will presumably but continue to fulfill the needs of demon exorcism, amusing tourists and the like. Tourists to southern China are likely to encounter Dongba in the ancient city of Lijiang where many businesses are adorned with signs in three languages, Dongba, Chinese, and English. Structure and form Dongba is both pictographic and ideographic. There are about a thousand glyphs, but this number is fluid as new glyphs are coined. Priests drew detailed pictures to record information, and illustrations were simplified and conventionalized to represent not only material objects but also abstract ideas. Glyphs are often compounded to convey the idea of a particular word. Generally, as a mnemonic, only keywords are written, a single pictograph can be recited as different phrases or an entire sentence. Examples of Dongba rebus include using a picture of two eyes my three to represent fate my three, a rice bowl for both XA2 food and XA2 sleep, and a picture of a goral say three stands in for an aspectual particle. It has two variants ma cubed cubed l to the power of 5 to the power of 5 ma cubed cubed sa cubed cubed ma li ma sha wen and r cubed cubed di squared, r cubed cubed co cubed cubed ruan k wen Writing media and tools The Nashi name of the script, Wood and Stone Records, testifies that Dongba was once carved on stone and wood. Nowadays it is written on handmade paper, typically from the trees Daphne Tangutica and D. Ritusa. The sheets are typically 28 by 14 cm, and are sewn together at the left edge, forming a book. The pages are ruled into four horizontal lines. Glyphs are written from left to right and top to bottom. 
Vertical lines are used to section off elements of the text see image above, equivalent to sentences or paragraphs. Writing utensils include bamboo pens and black ink made from ash. See also Nashi script